Hey everyone, Kevin here. I thought I'd do a quick follow up to a video I did the other day. I did a video about the Yi 4K Plus camera and I appreciate all the people who commented on the video. Essentially what I did was um, there was an advertisement for the Yi 4K Plus and I noticed in the video, and a lot of other people noticed as well, that it looked like they weren't being honest about the footage that was being recorded. You notice that apart when we were snow snowboarding down the hill, you could see that there was a gimbal being used and it didn't look like a, a 4K you know, action camera. It looked like quite a, a large setup. But there's been a lot of interesting comments and it's, it's quite interesting that a lot of other people have noticed it and they've also kind of investigated the issue as well. Now, just to kind of get through some of the comments and what we've found out. Um, Sokel noticed that the original footage, which was uploaded by a YouTuber called DPT Shra, I'll, I'll post the, the name of that in the description area. He noticed that in the original footage from which you know this clip was taken from, um, there was a part in that video where you could see the, the, the gimbal and the 4K action camera being turned round, and it, and it went from being really thick to being quite small. And as he put it, it's kind of like an optical illusion. You can see the, you know, from the shadows it changing, and it perhaps is a little, little bit misleading in the other video that I was referring to. Now the person who recorded the footage has been quite upfront. He's uploaded a photo of the setup, and he did use a gimbal, but he didn't use the Yi gimbal. He used the, and I know I'm going to say this wrong. It's the Zion Rider M3 axis, and as I say, they uploaded a picture of it. And he also noted that he did some colour grading in post. So I don't think ye have actually been uh, misleading. I mean, this kind of thing is common by tech companies. Uh, ideally for me, as someone who's quite interested in buying this camera, and I'm pretty set on buying it, uh, I would like to see 100% authentic footage from the camera. So I'd like to see the image optimization. I'd like to see the proper colours, the lighting, how everything works. And they've used a gimbal to keep everything steady and as the, the person who said uploaded it, they did colour grade it in post to make everything look better. It isn't clear whether this came from Yi or not. I'm not sure if Yi just sent my prototype and said, you know, try it out. And this person's been out, recorded some, you know, cool footage and then they've thought, can we use it? Or if they've hired them and said, can you record some footage for us and then make sure it looks great in post-production. I guess it, I guess it's um, it's wrong to single ye out because this was a marketing video. It was a, a video that's it's basically there to highlight what this camera can do. I personally think, you know, it'd be great if they, if they just showed everything being authentic, but I do recognise that all photography companies, all technology companies, that this is what they do. This is what they do to promote a product. They'll make sure everything looks fantastic. And, you know, I, I think it's just part and parcel. You don't really see what a camera is really capable of until the footage comes from third party sources. So when the camera's out, people like myself will do unboxings and we'll do test footage of it. Then you'll get to see exactly what this camera can do. I mean, the advertising footage does look good and it does look like it will be a good camera, but it just shows you how companies can manipulate the product to make it look even better than what it is. But at the end of the day, it's an advertisement, so you need to take it for what it is. Again, thanks for everyone who commented. Uh, Jorik, Sokel, Friji, Kevin, Liao, Eddie Corley. Keith Washington. I appreciate that. It was a good little discussion. We're talking about all this. So I, I really do appreciate everyone who participated in the discussion. I'll be sure to link to that video as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this, guys. You know, I think I, I need to be big enough and, you know, kind of retract what I said before. I don't think ye have been kind of misleading in any way. I still think that um, perhaps companies like that should be more honest and be upfront about what equipment is used but I don't think they've went out the way to be um, mischievous in any way. I'd love to hear what you think anyway guys. Leave a comment below and yeah, till the next time. Thanks for watching.